hey, what's for dinner for you? I often get asked what's on my dinner plate, and so I thought I would share with you uh, my entire Tuesday. Now, this is pretty much a typical day. It's not a typical Tuesday because I'm not one of those people that have, you know, this on this day and this on that day, like chicken on Tuesday and beef on Wednesday or whatever. But um, I thought because I get, oh, I always get asked what's on my plate, I thought I would share what I've had and what I'm planning to make for dinner. And before I share that with you, I just want to clarify what my goals are. My goals for eat, for eating are really for energy and for performance. The dogs, there's a lot of dogs in the dog park, and so my dogs, I brought them in so they wouldn't bark outside, but now they're barking inside. Sorry about that. And in, in any case, my goals are eating for eating for performance and energy. So I feel that if weight loss happened, then that would be fantastic. But my goals are really to eat for energy and for, uh, for performance. Um, a little backstory: about 18 months ago, I decided, I looked at my intake and I thought, you know, I'm not really eating that much. So I started uh, what's called counting macros. So what that entails is just really looking more specifically at proteins, carbs, and fats. And I've talked about that a little bit before because um, I felt like I was eating well, but I felt like my metabolism might be tanking a little bit, which often happens for women over 40, over 50. And I didn't want that to happen. So um, I got a coach. Yes, coaches have coaches too. So in the process of counting macros or doing that, um, you know, just having a, a better look at what I was eating, um, I did what's called a reverse diet. So I started eating, you know, my current uh, intake and then we gradually in increase my my intake so that I'm actually eating more than ever now uh, without weight gain and in fact I lost six pounds so that was a happy accident or you know a happy result uh, of course everybody wants to get a bit leaner but best of all I feel more energized and so I thought I will share with you what I'm eating uh, because I always get asked so First thing I do when I start uh, in the morning is I have a big cup of coffee. Sometimes I have two, so I have coffee and I have cream. There's my Starbucks coffee cup collection. So I have that before I work out. Then I work out, I get up at about five, um, five have coffee, have my workout at about seven o'clock. And then after my workout, I have a post-workout shake and I've been talking about this a little bit. And in that shake, um, I will have a variety of things. Uh, I'll have like a protein. I'm actually, um, I got a collagen protein, so I'm putting a little bit of that in because I felt like, you know, my hair and nails might benefit from that. So I've just started that experiment. Um, I put a little bit of um, organic uh, maca powder in it. I put apple cider vinegar. And I'm using this pentacarb, which is... Um, it's a liquid carb replacement, and there's a, I've done a video on why I do that after my workout. I won't get into the details of that, but it really helps with recovery. And uh, so I've, I've started adding carbs, a, a small amount of carbs in my post-workout shake. So that's usually right after my workout at about 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. And then I have my post-workout meal, which right now, this week, in the last little bit, is oatmeal. I've been really digging the oatmeal and cinnamon and blue and some blueberries in that. By the way, I do weigh my food, uh, whether it's with a measuring cup, but more likely I use that weigh scale because the hungrier I get, an, a normal size apple might be this big. So it helps keep me honest. And you know what, what I'm doing, you don't necessarily have to do, but I feel like I am the, I am the working guinea, guinea pig for you. So anything I would ask you to do, I would do for myself, I would do first. And so I do tend to weigh my food just so that I have a, a really good idea of what my intake is. So that's breakfast. Now, uh, today then I was doing coaching calls and walking dogs and whatnot. And then at about noon, I got pretty hungry. So you know what? I think I've told you I'm, an, I'm not a fantastic cook. Today what I had is I had a pre-made salad. It was this Baja um, chopped salad. 
I did use the nuts in it, and there was like there's a handful of tortilla chips, which is I didn't know how to count, but it's a really great salad. But I don't use the dressing from that. I found this one, which I like. It's I usually, if I'm in a hurry, I will use like this Bolt, Bolt House Farms brand because it's a it's a yogurt dressing. It's really tasty. There's a couple different. Uh, brands of it so I really like that then I got involved with some more coaching calls and and work and dog walks and I and uh, some errands and I got super hungry it got to be about four o'clock and so typically I would not have car like bread type carbohydrates later in the day but I was so hungry I, I have to get it um, I had a piece of this Sprouted Silver Hill sprouted um, multigrain wheat bread. I'm not gluten sensitive, and usually I'll have my starchy carbs earlier in the day. But I know that I was low on carbs, and I just needed something because otherwise I was going to get to the nibbling. And so it's important that when you get the nibbles, just have something substantial. So I had that with. Uh, 15 grams of almond butter and we've done uh, a video on what's better almond or peanut butter you just have to look for that one but almond butter in my book uh, wins out even though I like the taste of peanut butter better so I knew that that would hold me because I had a chunk of work to do including this video before I make dinner now here's my dinner and that's gonna be and by the way I'm not cooking for kids tonight so this is just for me, as I'm going to have a handful of asparagus, a red pepper, 100 grams of cherry tomatoes. And this is one of my favorite things, is these zucchini new and butternut nut squash noodles. These ones are Costco. You can get them anywhere. But that's my version of pasta, and I really love it. I use... Uh, I'll cook it with garlic. Oh, I forgot to say that in my, my salad in the day, I had, um, I think, 120 grams of chicken in it. Not 120 grams of protein, 120 grams of chicken in that salad. And then tonight it's chicken again. I'm just going to um, probably barbecue some chicken. And then I'm going to I pan fry uh, the zoodles. It, it takes about 10 minutes. And I do it in a little, in a teaspoon of olive oil with some Italian spices. And then I also will put three ounces of Parmesan cheese on that and then cook it up. And that is a delicious, delicious dinner. And it is massive, but it's all vegetables. And it, um, it really fills me up. I try to fill up this water bottle, not this water bottle, this is my workout water bottle. So that's gone at my workout. And then I try and have at least two of these during the day and um, just lots of water, especially as the summer comes and I'm outside more and I'm hot, you know, in, in the sun or walking the dogs a lot, that really helps. And what else is here? Lots of spices. Like I said, I'm not a fantastic cook, but that's a pretty basic day. So uh, what you might notice, except for the four o'clock piece of toast because I was absolutely starving and I knew that would hold me. Um, typically, women need to have their, try to keep your starchy carbs low, uh, earlier in the day when your insulin sensitivity is a little bit higher. As the day progresses, we become a little more insulin resistant and that's why I have like the massive vegetables. I have my, my fibrous carbs mostly in the, in the evening. Um, another typical lunch for me might be, uh, if I, especially if I'm in a rush, is, is like a can of tuna and some of those mini dill rice cakes. I'll have like 30 or 40 grams of those and, that, and maybe some blueberries and lots of water because those are salty. Um, and that's a great, that's a great um, lunch for me that's super fast as well. So um, the idea is that, you know, before I started working with my nutrition coach, I felt like I was eating pretty well. And, you know, I was, I've been able to maintain my weight. I, I've had, you know, fairly good uh, workout performance. I'm a little bit nutty about my workouts. People think I must work out all day long. I do not. I, you know, by the time I get to the gym and get home, it's an hour or else I'll work out at home no more than um, like my actual work is maybe maximum 30 minutes 
Um, so, but it's really important for me, like my workout performance, because that's a big hobby. I love that. So I want to eat to fuel my performance. Um, so it's important for you to clarify your goals, what you're eating for. And look, everybody has to eat. Like we all have to eat. So we might as well be eating the food that's going to get us to our goals, that's going to fuel us. Uh, just to put some thought into it, maybe top of mind awareness or TOMA, top of mind awareness. A lot of people just grab and go with no planning and then it's no surprise that we're not going to get to our goals. So just wanted to share, you know, my kitchen's a big mess uh, with all this food out. I'm going to feed those four-legged furry babies and get my supper started but I just thought you know what it might be helpful for you to know what's on my plate so that you know you could uh, maybe learn a little bit and uh, alter what's on your plate and if you want to get to your goals a little faster you know that I'm here for you I'm you know I love to do some personalized nutrition coaching with you because once you're exercising particularly it's what's on your plate that's going to be the game changer in how you look in your clothes and everybody that's working out wants to look like they're working out and uh, food is going to fuel you it's going to give you mental clarity like the right kinds of food it's going to give you mental clarity it's going to help you fit into your clothes better it's going to help you sleep uh, more soundly so I really feel that food is thy medicine so you know you want to uh, pay attention to what's on your plate. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to post them. Oh, one other thing is like, you'll notice that, you know, I don't have everything organic. I don't have everything, you know, do what you can to, to buy the highest quality food that you can. But at the end of the day, like just have a great variety of colors in your vegetables, lots of lean and quality proteins. Um, but you know, it, you don't have to like, you know, spend zillions of dollars and buy any, like buy all the fanciest foods. Just, just buy the, the healthy food that you can and prepare it in the healthiest way that you can. And everybody can upgrade their health with, with just simple nutrition. So hope that was helpful. Questions down below. I'll also put a link in if you want to consider working with me. I always start with a questionnaire and then we get on the phone. Would love to talk to you. Uh, I talk to lots of people and, and, you know, just do some troubleshooting and maybe try this. You know, sometimes it, it leads to something else and sometimes not. I just want to help you with uh, ways that I can help you upgrade your nutrition, look and feel your best. All right, dinner time.